in skateboarding, there isn't really, it doesn't matter if you're rich or black or white or whatever religion you focus on or you believe in. It's just, you, you're a person with a skateboard. My name is Jonathan Benitez. I'm 17 and I'm a senior in Washington Latin. I'm a person who likes to challenge myself. What I want to study in school is mechanical engineering. My name is Maria Iraeta. I have five children. I had three boys and two girls. Jonathan is in the middle one. Uh, and we live right here in DC. I had the five children, but he's the difference. <laughs> I see the difference. I love them, all them, but Jonathan is different. He's a quiet kid. He's one of the ones that you take time to get to know. He doesn't speak up much, but when he does, it's because he really has thought through what he wants to say and he has something important to say. I, I am very proud of Jonathan. He's so smart and he like it, do something different. Uh, he want to be more better than the, our family because we don't have any study. And, and what time are we going to finish? We are all living with my mom. Uh, my dad isn't really in the picture that much. So it's everything is basically left with my mother. My mom, I uh, think she's the hardest worker I've ever known, I guess. She's always working and she's never really taking a break for herself. She's always been working at two, uh, two jobs every single day. That's why he said, I want to be better for you. Since uh, I was the middle child and I just felt like I needed to do something for my family, I decided to take a job to help pay the bills. He leaves school and goes home and works most nights. He was working evenings. And that's last year, taking AP classes, taking difficult classes, he would still go home and work and get his homework done and maintain a really reasonable GPA under the circumstances. I've never heard him make an excuse about that. So uh, me coming from two parents who haven't uh, even finished high school and hasn't even gone to college, I see the importance of what college and high school has, like education in general. I don't want my dreams to be crushed because I didn't go to school. I hope that Jonathan's future includes some of his passions. I think that his biggest passions right now are skateboarding and helping people. When I'm skateboarding, I kind of, I feel like everything that's put on my shoulders are just completely let go. So like, I can be working a four, like a six hour shift right after school and I just feel like this immense stress on my back. But when I just step on my skateboard, all that I just forget all about that. Even though this story is about how he beat the odds and he got through so much difficulty, I know that what fuels him is really helping other people through their own difficulties. One of the teachers here, Miss Brady, she came up to me and she already knows about my life and me living in poverty and all. And she just comes up to me and she just goes, hey, there's a scholarship that I want you to apply for. It's called Beat the Odds. I think Jonathan winning this scholarship through the Children's Defense Fund and the Beat the Odds program really helps show him that other people are investing in his future. I can describe how special is he, but he tried to do the best he can. And lovely, I love him too.